Hey guys, uh, this is going to be my part 2 video of how to give your gun a worn uh, paint job. I know it's upside down for you right now, but um, when I get to this side, I'm actually going to be doing it won't be, so bear with me for a second. Um, I originally hadn't planned on doing a part 2, but uh, I just recently tried a new technique um, that I really like, and so I'm going to show you. Uh, my original... Uh, CQBR and SPR videos that I have of that gun um, I had kind of this tan to brown look as you can see in this gun now um, and a lot of people had asked me how to how I specifically did that and I honestly I couldn't really help you out much I mean I tried but I didn't really have a specific technique uh, I just kind of it just kind of turned out that way after using sandpaper and stuff so um a long time ago I heard about people using nail polish remover to get a paint job uh, or kind of do this worn look so I decided to try it out and I really like it. Um, nail polish remover you can get anywhere, Myers, um, Walgreens, I don't know where you guys live so I don't know what's basically your everyday kind of store you can get it there. Um, but anyway I'm going to be showing you how to get like the tan to brown kind of fade uh, that a lot of people have been asking me about. I've already done this side. And so, I'm doing this side, um, it's, this side is a lot more brown as you can see. Uh, the previous side was like that initially, but this um, eliminated that. Um, okay, so anyway, what you're going to want is just a little rag, towel, whatever you want. Um, and then take the nail polish remover, put it on here, dump some on there, and then there you go. So, um, then you're going to want to take this, and on plastic, um, if you rub it on there, it will very easily go right down to the black, just because it is plastic and this stuff's pretty strong. But on the metal, I'm finding that you have to scrub a little bit, um, and it'll take off the brown dusting um, that I showed from my previous video. Um, so, anyway, I'll start right here, show you guys how to. As you can see, um, this portion actually came off a lot more than I thought it would. I was not expecting that, but um, anyway, uh, that is because I believe I had a lot of this on here. So I'm guess if you want to do this, try and wring it out first. And oh well, uh, I guess you learn as you go. Uh, but as you can see up here, after this kind of um, some of it went into the towel or onto the gun. Um, I scrubbed up here and I made it a lot more tan and then you can move on to the rest of the gun So as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of force to get um, down to the black. So, I mean, you're going to want to be careful if you are going to be doing this, or you're going to want to um, try it out first on something else. Um, this is only my second time doing it, so that's, how, that's why that wasn't expected. But anyway, as you can see over here, it moved. Um, it's uh, I kind of, the alcohol, I believe that's what's in this. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, that stuff kind of... Um, uh, took away the brown and kind of blended it into the tan so it has kind of a fade from the uh, brown going into the tan and I like it um, I like the look of it uh, a lot more than just kind of like the brown and tan dusting or like the brown and tan stripes basically um, I will finish this up and post pictures after the video um, but here's basically the finished side of the um, the right side of the gun, right side of the receiver. Um, 
yeah uh, so if you have any questions um, comments or um, I don't know just whatever uh, comment uh, message me whatever um, if you want to subscribe it's always welcome uh, yep thanks for watching